Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be starting with my How to Play series. This episode is going to be for Don't Starve, and I'm going to be focusing on the beginner's tips and tricks that I have for the start of the game. So, I'm going to be picking Wilson, because he's the first class you unlock, and most new players will only own Wilson. And for the world, I'm going to keep everything as the default, and just keep everything as it was. So, let's go. So, to start off, you're going to get this little cutscene. But straight after the cutscene, you're going to want to start picking things up, because you'll be set on a timer before night. So, make sure you do not pick up flowers, because the only use is to increase your sanity which is best done later on in the game when your sanity is low however you can use flowers for other things so what you want to pick up are saplings to make tools berries so that you can use them to get food and throughout this you're going to want to pick up many berries before the first night because it's going to be the only food source you have you'll also want to pick up berries for a few nights after because they'll be the only food source you'll get. Because these carrots, if you find them, leave them in the ground. Because later on in the game, when you're starving, you'll be able to pick them up. Because they don't grow back like berry bushes do. You're also going to want to pick up grass. Because this helps with fires and other tools. There are also a few other things you want to make sure you find. One of these is flint. And flint, early on, can be used to make some important tools. To make an axe, it requires one flint. And to make a pickaxe, it requires two. The axe is obviously for chopping down trees, and the pickaxe is for mining rocks. So the first tool you're going to want to make is an axe. And this is for chopping down trees. The small trees, you are not going to want to chop down, because you're going to get little amounts of wood from it but if you find a big tree like the one I'm chopping down now you should chop it down because once it's chopped down you'll get more wood and more pine cones to plant trees later also whilst exploring if you find a skeleton like the one on the screen which will be surrounded by many items make sure to pick the items up because these will help you later on if you find one of these touchstones surrounded by pig heads, make sure you activate these because when you die, it will bring you back to life for a second chance. Once you find enough flint to craft a pickaxe after already crafting an axe, make sure you craft this because you're going to need to knock down rocks. Once it turns to dusk on the day timer at the top right and you will see the lighting change, Make sure you start to think about building your campfire before the night comes. You're going to want to pick up any rocks you find, along with knocking down any boulders with the pickaxe you have. Because you're going to need to try and get 12 rocks before the first night if you want to build a fire pit. This requires 12 rocks, but don't worry, you don't have to build one, you can always build a normal fire. If you ever get lost, make sure to click tab to look at the map. With this you can zoom in and look at the previous locations you've been to. You can also see key items such as the boulders, beehives and berry bushes. You can also look for good places to build a base such as near trees and grass. If you find seeds, make sure to pick these up because you're going to need them later on. If you reach just a little bit before night time, you're going to want to make sure to build a fire. But if you don't have enough rocks, like I don't, don't worry, you can still just build a normal campfire out of grass and logs. Instead of eating food raw, if you cook it onto a fire first, it will replenish more hunger and health. You're going to want to eat these during the first night to replenish some of your hunger before you go out the second day. You may also want to collect a few items from around the camp whilst you're there, as it will give you something to do during the night time. If your fire starts to go low, you can add fuel to it. 
including things like pine cones, logs, and more. During the first night, you're going to want to build a trap so that you can place it the second day. This requires twigs and grass to build. During the second day, you're going to want to try and find a place to build your permanent fire pit. Good places are the savannah and the green grasslands. If you find you're moving too slow, you can always find one of these darker patches, which are the roads in the game because running off-road will make you run slower than running on-road. If you find a spider nest, make sure to stay away from it early game and not to build your base near it, as the spiders are always aggressive and come out at night. This is worse later on, as the nests grow to three times the size and eventually become spider queens. During the second day, you'll want to place the trap over a rabbit hole so that you can save it for food later. Once the rabbit runs into the trap, it will capture it, then it will let you check the trap later on where you can harvest the rabbit, murder it, and keep it for food. By the end of the second day, hopefully you should have the materials to build a fire pit. If not, don't worry, you can continue going until you do, but hopefully you should have one by the fifth day. I decided to pick this location because it's surrounded by trees, berry bushes, and twigs. This is also near a savannah where I can plant my traps. I have a nice forest nearby, and a lot of other materials which I can use later on. This is an ideal spot to place a base. If you have pine cones in your inventory, make sure you place them around your base as they will eventually grow into bigger trees through the three stages. You're going to want to try and find some of these boulders. These boulders contain gold veins, so they're distinctive from the others. These are usually found in the beige areas of the map and the areas of the map that have the kind of floor that you're seeing right now. These boulders can be mined down the same way as the other boulders, only these ones drop gold nuggets. Gold nuggets are an advanced crafting material that can be used to craft things in the science column. This includes a science machine, which advances the amount that you can craft in the game. If your pick breaks whilst breaking these, do not worry, you can always craft another one straight with the same materials you used before. If food is left in your inventory long enough in this game, it will eventually go from having a green background to an orange background and then eventually red. This matters because it changes the amount of hunger it restores and may even have negative effects on every character other than WX78. Also, if you're low on hunger, you can cook the seeds you found earlier and eat them as toasted seeds and these will replenish some of your hunger. Rain will have many negative effects, such as making your fire be put out quicker. Campfires eventually turn to ash. Your sanity will also lower faster during the rain. Once you find beefalo, you're going to want to pick up the manure because this can be used in crafting things such as farms later on. These can be found in the savannah areas of the map. The beefaloes will not be hostile if you go near them, unless they have red asses. Then they will become aggressive and attack on sight. Once you attack one beefalo, they will all come after you. If ever you get lost whilst out exploring, don't worry, if you just bring up the map, you should be able to see the fire pit symbol. If you just follow that back, it will take you back to your camp. Everything you build from now on, you're going to want to build near your fire pit, including the science machine, using gold, logs and rocks to build. This is going to unleash more crafting potential, including a shovel requiring twigs and flint to build. This is going to allow you to dig up things such as tree stumps, which give you one log. You can also dig up things like saplings, 
which you can replant later on to grow more. But make sure you do not dig up berry bushes as they will not grow without fertilizer. Crafting new things resembled by a light bulb will increase your sanity. Seeing as we have a full inventory, we need to craft a backpack. Now this requires twigs and grass to build. This gives you the ability to move items into more slots. This gives you eight extra slots to work with. The last thing you're going to want to build requires one rope. It is a spear which also requires flint and twigs to build. This will be a weapon that you can use to defend yourself. For the next thing you're going to want to build, you need to go into refine and also be near a science machine. If you craft four boards, also get more gold and craft four cut stone, you will be able to build an alchemy engine. This is one up from a science machine, requires the ingredients boards, cut stone and gold and once built and placed this will give you many more things to craft. One of these things is quite important it's an improved farm which requires cut grass, manure and rocks. You place these near your base and take seeds that you found earlier to plant and they will eventually grow into fruit. Craft another thing to help with the food issue, you're going to need to make a torch and burn down exactly five trees. Once these trees are burnt down, if you chop them down, you will be able to get charcoal from them. You need to get five charcoal to be able to build this. This also requires twigs and cut stone. This is the crock pot found on the food section. Once built, place it near your base. And this will have four slots to put food into. You can put any food in other than seeds. You can also put twigs in, but I've only ever seen it end in bad results. This will give you a better version of food that will increase hunger by a lot more. If you include meat in your recipe, depending on the amount, it will give you meatballs or meat stew. These are two of the best foods in the game, so make sure to stock up on different kinds of meat. Another important thing to build for your survival is a log suit. This requires eight logs and two rope to build. This will give you more defense so when you are attacked your health won't go down as quickly. Although this log suit does replace your backpack so make sure to remember where you put it. You can craft a razor and when playing as Wilson using this will remove all of your beard hair so you're clean shaven. If when exploring you ever find something that looks like this, call the wormhole, make sure you do not jump into it. This is because once you come out of the other end, your sanity will be drained and you'll be placed on a random position on the map. These can however be used in the later game. Just one more thing, if you ever see your character say something like, did you hear that? and you hear weird roars in the background, be careful, because eventually hounds will attack. To be prepared for this, you're going to want to get your fire at maximum, put log suits on and get your spear ready. These hounds will attack, generally after five did you hear that's, and they take five hits from a normal spear to kill. These drop monster meat, sometimes when killed. Make sure not to eat this as it will deplete your health.
Okay, guys, that's about it from me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know if you would like me to make another Don't Starve related how to play video. Probably focusing on the hounds and how to survive, how they evolve and things like that. The next one I'm thinking about making is a Hearthstone video. Probably for beginners, again, like Don't Starve. So yeah, that should be quite fun. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance and I'll speak to you all next time.